afternoon now it's 12 33 happy monday um i'm just getting ready to edit another vlog i've been trying to make sure i get all the vlogs posted by 9 a.m i've been doing the pre upload and i'm hoping i can keep that up we'll see you know things happen so um i was able to already get a shower which is a plus because that never happens and it's really raining and dreary out let's see yeah and my son had to go to the courthouse for a to be see if he's selected as a juror he hasn't come home yet anyway <clears throat> i'm going to continue here and see if i can maybe work on a little bit of a vlog and then i'm going to try to get um a few shirts embroidered out i got a couple clifford's well i got Clifford for the baby, a Clifford for the mom, and a Clifford for the dad. So I'm going to try to get those three done today. We'll see what happens. And yeah, we'll go from there. Boo? Hmm? Can you see Boo? Touch. Touch her. He's nice. Ooh. <gasps> wow. Good Boo. It's good Boo. You pet. Boo, can she touch you? Will you let her touch you, Boo? guys it is now the next day and i didn't end my vlog yesterday and i really didn't vlog that much after what you well i didn't vlog anything else what you last saw um i just didn't do much of anything i worked on vlogs last night and i'm trying to get ahead that way i can continue with my upload schedule and vlogs will be posted every day at 9 a.m I'm hoping, I'm hoping. I've done this before though, and it never worked out that good. So, um, and uh, yeah, so yesterday I didn't embroider anything else. I was gonna work on the Cliffords, but um, they didn't have to be shipped out until the 27th. Today's the 24th. So I figured letting them go one more day would not hurt. So I'm going to try to get those work done. I know we have to go to Walmart tonight. Um, I made my grocery list, which is actually... Oh, hello, phone. Um, 
normally I write my grocery list out or whatever, but I just started to use my little notepad and so far I like it because you can do a little you can do a little check off list. So last night we ended up going to um Bilo and I was able to check a couple things off my list but see Bilo is our local grocery store and they're higher than Walmart so there's certain things I'm like you know I know we have this right now and we'll be going to Walmart so I'll just wait like cereal their cereal was high for what we normally it was for something and at Walmart it's like 368 we buy the mini wheats and then Sterling likes the Campbell's soup and they're like a dollar fifty at Walmart and here they were a dollar seventy nine so I just told her to get one can for today and we'll pick up more and then things like taco shells and avocados were like a dollar I think they were a dollar seventy nine or a dollar sixty nine just for one avocado and at Walmart I think they're like either nine they're between ninety eight cents and a dollar 12 maybe I don't know so I was like we'll just get those because we're gonna have taco night um I was gonna have taco tonight taco tonight I was gonna have taco night tonight because it's Tuesday and we're gonna I was gonna call it taco Tuesday and be all fancy but um instead we're having barbecue chicken um it's just sim simple because I was telling my husband I was like when I plan on my meal plan everything just goes a lot smoother and that is like a huge just a huge um a huge chunk that I don't have to worry about during my day if I plan out a meal plan and um if I have everything to make it like if I say okay I got stuff for this week I planned on homemade pizza we're gonna have tacos we're gonna have barbecue chicken I was gonna pick up a frozen lasagna just to have it in the freezer and what else is on my list I'm looking at my list thinking oh did I say hamburgers okay I don't know if I did or not okay so that was my plan and I was like okay so um last night we just had hamburgers hamburgers are something quick and easy all you need is some buns and some burger but we always like to have chips and dip with ours it's just something I grew up with and so I always have to have ruffled potato chips in um, the French onion Dean's French onion dip I have to have those with my burgers so I was like we'll just have that and um, We'll have tacos. I guess we'll probably have tacos tomorrow. And then I picked up chicken. We're having barbecue chicken, which we're having tonight. So the buns got to you be used yesterday for the hamburger, and they'll get used tonight for the chicken. And um, yeah, so we need to go to Walmart and pick up these things. We're trying to eat cheaply because you know we're going to be going on vacation. And I want to make sure, like, the items I do get, because we're going to be gone, that they won't go bad or, you know, that kind of thing. But I also want to make sure that we do have stuff to come home to, where I'm not having an empty refrigerator and having to go out and say, no, no, we don't have nothing to eat for the next couple days. And, and you know how it is. I don't know if you know how it is, but when you get back from vacation, it just seems like you know everything just trying to get back into the routine you have a bunch of laundry to do you're trying to unpack your suitcases and the last thing you want to worry about really is going out grocery shopping so um, I'm trying to make sure I got a list going uh, for packing which if y'all want to see some packing videos I don't know some people like that stuff and some people are like what Mom, could I do a video of mine? Um, we'll see. Right now she's cleaning her room. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. oh, she has not uh, done her schoolwork today. She is going to take it to Grandma and Papa's house. Yeah. When she goes, um, she knows what to do. And if there's anything, come here. What? So let's say you're doing your schoolwork at Grandma and Papa's house and there's something you don't understand or get. What do you do? call you or what else or wait yeah you skip it and you wait until you get home right yeah if it's a stupid 
question than Jack. If it's easy, I guess I got it. Anyway, so um, I've been making me a little checkoff list. Um, because, you know, we are going with a baby this time. I haven't done this in, since she was little. So I want to make sure, you know, we have everything we need for her. But in the same sense, there's so many people going that I don't want to overpack. Um, so I'm trying to just strictly stick to the things I know for sure we're going to need, like, her docatot. I know for sure that we are going to need her docatot. She sleeps in it every night. Um, and they're sharing a bed with me. And I'm probably sharing a bed with her, and we definitely don't want me her rolling on Journey. Um, uh, things like her bath towels. Journey uses, like, those little baby bath towels, just because they're softer, and plus she's allergic to a lot of things. And if we wash all our towels and she gets, you know, uses one of those towels, she might break out. She's, I don't know. Are we going to bring draft with us? No. We're not going to bring no draft. Are we going to buy it? If we need to, we will. Um, so I'm going to carry diapers. And I'm going to try to carry enough diapers that we don't have to buy anything. Because things are higher priced up there. So I'm going to bring a whole sleeve of diapers. <clears throat> Hopefully that will last us the whole week. Um, a new thing of wipes. Hopefully that will last. It should last us. A thing of wipes usually lasts us the whole week. Um, I'm going to bring her shampoo and like her spoons for eating. We bought a brand new pack of little spoons. That way if we lose one or forget one or whatever, it's no big thing. No big deal. It was just like two eighty seven for a pack of those spoons. Um, we're going to bring just a little bit of baby food. They sell baby food up there. Of course we can buy some. I'm just going to carry some in the suitcase that way. When we get to where we're going, if I go to the grocery store and I forget to buy baby food or whatever, we got it. I'm just right. Got two little packs. And then I also have a couple of the little baggy, bag, packy, squeezy things for the, the trip. The pouches. The pouches for the trip up. Um, bibs. We gotta make sure we pack bibs for her. Um, her washcloths. We gotta make sure we do that. And I'm going to try to carry the portable high chair that Marie got us. Um off our baby registry if it'll fit and then those Frida and then of course her little spit up rags and her clothes so those are just things that I put on here that I want to make sure that I don't forget of course I won't forget clothes right yeah that'd just be crazy and then I have like the toiletries that I will need like a brush a toothbrush curling on hair dryer my makeup my shampoo my conditioner my deodorant and my soap um, and then I got one down here to pack. We usually pack a little, you're all crooked, sorry. We usually pack a snack bag and, um, so I want to make sure I have my snack bag and then I want to make sure I bring my chargers, my tripods, my drone, I don't know, I'm going to see, um, batteries for all my equipments, baby toys, ibuprofen. I'm thinking about bringing the, um, baby monitor. It's you know fairly small easy to set up that way if she is napping like in one of the rooms or whatever I can set it up and you know if I have company over like my friend Tressa or my mom or somebody you know and she's napping in a room I can always keep an eye on her with the baby monitor anyway we're getting excited if you couldn't tell are you excited yeah we got 11 days I am going to try to get some work done. Journey is napping. She's been napping for a good 45 minutes now. And I'm editing a vlog. And then I'm going to work on Clifford's. And then we're going to get ready when Daddy gets home and go to Walmart. <gasps> Hi. You got a little bit of a nap, didn't you? Hmm? You feel better? You feel better? <laughs> I always got that tongue out. Do you feel better, huh? How are you going to smack the camera? How are you going to smack the camera, huh? No! No! Should we get dressed? Get out of your pajamas? 
You can have a bath later after you eat something. Give her some puffs. I'm trying to teach her how to grab. Of course, she wants to grab with her whole hand. Can you grab this? <laughs> She's like, put it in my mouth. Put it in my mouth. Oh, it came back out. Oh, there you go. Shoot up. It is 4.37. Sterling just went to her grandma and papa's house. And I am going to work on embroidering out some Clifford's. And I have a Peppa Pig. So, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Is that yours? Did you pick that up? Yeah, why are you throwing it on the ground for? Look what I found. <gasps> what are you doing? Your yellow socks. So I got everything on my list except for what? Um, your shirt. Yeah, they didn't have any of my shirts. I needed a couple size, how many size six? Um, hold on, let me. I needed like three size six and two size three T. And one didn't they have any size six? They had size six, but they're V-necks. <sighs> so. This was a wasted trip. Let's just walk out and leave our buggy full and go to a different Walmart. All the pink has washed out of her hair. Pretty much. They don't sell it here, do they? Hey guys, we're back from Walmart and I'm gonna do a very quick grocery haul of what I bought. I had a list and I stuck to my list, so. We're gonna have taco night, so I got stuff for tacos. I already have the meat and stuff, so we just got some chips and avocados for guacamole. And then I just bought this kit that has six hard shells and six soft shells. Um, and then sour cream for the tacos. And I already have cheese. And then I bought a can of refried beans somewhere right here. So it's all for taco nut. That's one meal. Oh, and some salsa. So, and I always buy this great value of thick and chunky, and I always buy medium. So that's that. I mean, still got some power aids. Got Journey. Um, we tried this one, and she actually liked it. So I got her that one again, and then I got her these two. 
that she can eat for breakfast because I want to start feeding her more at least twice a day. So, <laughs> and I got this pizza sauce for pizza night and I got mozzarella cheese. I usually buy the really big packages, but I'm not sure if we had any and I was already there and I didn't have time to check the refrigerator. So, got that. Then we got some pepperoni and I got mushrooms to go on the pizza as well as green pepper <laughs> and what else did I buy? So this is the pizza crust that we've been liking. Uh, I picked up some more butter. We're almost out. And we got this because my husband talked me into buying this. I like sweet baby rays. Yeah. Yeah. Nutty buddy for snacks. Sterling likes these fruit smiles for snacks. And we got a Sterling. <laughs> got some frosted mini meats. And then. I got a question. What? Why you got to use this within six days of opening? I have no idea. Because the food's like used within trickery. 24 hours. Yeah. Think I need to put a little bit more in there? <clears throat> I don't know. She's trying some pear juice. Um, so we got, this is what we eat for lunch There's usually some um, soups. So Australia really likes vegetables. So she got two cans of that. She does got a can of chicken noodle in the refrigerator, refrigerator cabinet. I got me tomato. I'll have tomato and grilled cheese. Um, we are out of diced tomatoes and my son is forever asking for diced tomatoes so there we go and then Stelly wanted two lemons to make homemade lemonade did I already say I got sugar or water sugar and then this is the meal some lasagna so there's one meal here there's pizza is a meal tacos is a meal do I have another meal I know we had barbecue chicken tonight and we had burgers on Monday so I guess that's it, right? Because we got Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. All right, we're good. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention. Got this, and then I found these fat quarters. I thought they were really cute. With the rainbow stripes. Hey guys, it is now 11.15 and we are going to head to bed. Um, Journey has a doctor's appointment not tomorrow, but the next day on Thursday. <clears throat> but I was able to get uh, two embroidered out today, which is two of the... I've got a set of um, Clifford the dog. I did the mother and daughter shirts today and I'll do the father tomorrow and those will go out. Maybe my husband will take them to the post office. But yeah, that's all for today. I think I'll close my shop tomorrow. I'm thinking. We'll see. Because. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine. I'll have nine to embroider out. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Yeah. So, and if I do two a day, I don't work on the weekends. So. That'll be two on Wednesday. Well, not including the Clifford, so I still have to do the other Clifford too. So two on Wednesday, two on Thursday, two on Friday, two on Monday, two on Tuesday, and yeah. So and then that's that. So anyway, um, I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.